time on Walsh. That's Mickey Thomas, and a very good effort. Well, Mike England said to me last night, watch us on set pieces, because Wales believe they've got a variety of options from this position. On that occasion, it was left to Mickey Thomas to shoot with his left foot, and the ball dipping as it went over the bar. Here's Nicholas. Oh, Burns missed it, and here's James. James Cross, and Alan Ruff got a hand to it. But that's a good goal. Walsh the scorer. But Leighton James made it. Leighton James crossed low. Alan Ruff got a hand to that. And as it came out, Ian Walsh had an easy job from the rebound, but it was an emphatic finish nonetheless. Yeah, but look at Wales here on the counter. Carl Harris. Cut out by Neri. Harris was back in again. McQueen, uncertain. Mickey Thomas, this is. And he's getting past McQueen. And Walsh is on the far post again. Well, wonderfully made by Mickey Thomas. And Ian Walsh having a tremendous afternoon already. Thomas perhaps shouldn't have been allowed to get as far as he did, but it was sheer persistence. He battled his way past Gordon McQueen. It was a tight angle, but he got his cross to the far post, and Ian Walsh of Crystal Palace gets number two. Here's Nicholas, and the block by Gray. Ratcliffe. Jerry Jones up, Kenny Burns half away, hit by Flynn. It was an offside, I think, there against Ian Walsh. The linesman was certainly flagging, and I think had Flynn's shot gone in, it would have been disallowed. Here's Harris. He's going to run on to Mickey Thomas. What a great turn by him. Walsh is there again. He's hit the bar. Harris. It's still not away. Thomas. And the crowd applauding Ian Walsh. What a match he's having here. That was so near to the hat-trick. The ball came back off the woodwork. And without taking anything away from Wales, one has to say again that the Scottish defence there was a thing of very little substance. Proven. Here's Jordan. It's come back to Neri. It was a good effort. Knocked back by Joe Jordan to David Neri. And a firm shot by the Dundee United player. And now Harris from James. Oh, a shot! Well, the Brazilians couldn't have bettered that one. Terrific volley by Carl Harris. Instinctive. Hit superbly well, bending, and Alan Ruff, to give him credit, reacted sharply. He had to, to turn that over. Good save by the Scottish goalkeeper. Mastery to thread their game together the way the Welsh have. Oh, and Joe Jordan leaves Boyle on the ground this time, and Jordan's got to be very careful. He's been booked, and unless the linesman will tell the referee what happened here, and if he tells the referee that Jordan flattened Boyle, which I think he did, Jordan may go off. Terry Boyle was knocked to the ground as Jordan ran with him there, and I've got a feeling we're going to have a sending off here of Joe Jordan. The referee has already booked him for the challenge on Di Davis. Jordan went for Terry Boyle there in that collision. And the referee goes across and shows the red card. And Joe Jordan is sent off for persistent violation of the laws. Having been booked for one foul, he committed another off the ball and he goes. 
Alex Flynn, Jeremy Charles, nicely away from Gordon McQueen. Leighton James is in the centre. This is still Charles. Oh, good stop by Ruff. Harris. Wide to Thomas. It's not over yet. Well, what a tremendous run by Jeremy Charles. This powerful young man, one of the great products of Welsh football in recent years, striding on there, beating Gordon McQueen, continuing his run and then letting fly from not the best of angles. And Alan Ruff again instinctively making a fine save. McGrain. And the referee blows to signal six wins out of six for Wales. And for the goalkeeper, Di Davis, on the day he broke Jack Kelsey's record and captained the side, a very satisfying afternoon. Two first-half goals, giving his side a comfortable victory and put them on the way to Wembley and, indeed, to that match against the Soviets in two weeks' time. As for Scotland, a very disappointing day for them in every sense. Not their strongest team, disjointed without the Liverpool and Ipswich players, but Joe Jordan sent off after twice following through on opponents his side never looking truly like getting back into the match and in the opening game of the British Championship the final score at the Vetchfield Swansea is Wales 2 Scotland